I'm Chris, and today we're going to make a cardboard tuna can wax stove. It's a hobo stove. Let's do this real quick. Now you want to go ahead and measure the inside of your tuna can. And don't forget to leave enough room in there for this little lip to seat inside the tuna can. You don't want to go all the way to the top with the cardboard. This tuna can is about an inch and a quarter, and I want to subtract uh, just a little bit. So I'm going to do maybe about an inch and an eighth. When you measure out your cardboard, you want to make sure you have the corrugated side facing up. You want the wax to be able to pour down into there. So when you cut it, measure from the corrugated side down, and then make your cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure about an inch and a quarter. And honestly, the width of a yardstick is about the size I want, at least for at least for the cans that I'm using. And now we're simply going to take the cardboard and just kind of start rolling it in on itself. And this is why I like to use uh, longer cardboard, because then I don't have to deal with too many individual strips of cardboard. I can just deal with one big strip for the most part. You want to roll it fairly tight. You don't want to have too many gaps in there because the corrugation itself allows for holes and everything else for the wax to fit into. And you want to go ahead and kind of just place the second strip on there. You can tape it if you want, but you really don't have to. You can kind of just hold it until you get around once. You just keep going around until you get a pretty snug fit on the tuna can. Sometimes I go just a little bit more than I need to. So I don't come up too short. You want to get it nice and snug in there. You just push it down in. And then we're ready to go ahead and melt some wax in there. Next we're going to collect a little bit of pine sap from our pine tree to help get our fire started. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. We'll go ahead and light our fire with our pine resin. And you can see it burning inside there. And it'll give it a nice chimney effect. Then once you have a nice set of flames coming out of the top, you're set to go. Now you could use holes in the top of here to give a little bit more of an airflow. I'm just gonna take some tent stakes I have and put them right on top. And then I'm actually gonna use a bowl with some water in it. Not a ton of water, just enough. So I have my sawdust stove at the bottom. I have a little, it's actually a dog dish from the dollar store on top with water in it. And then I have a can with my wax inside. I'm kind of making like a double boiler. I'm not heating the wax up directly, I'm heating it up through the can, or through the water, rather. And uh, I'm, I just indented the can to make a little spout so that when I go to pour it into the cardboard stove, it'll pour in there nicely. If you feel like your fire isn't hot enough, just add a little bit more fuel to the bottom. Now you should be able to get it to a nice boil. I have a little more wax in here than usual, so it's going to take a little longer to melt. But you can see the wax is starting to melt. Once you get enough wax melted, go ahead and take your pliers and pick up your can. And then carefully pour the wax in. I try to work from one side to the other just because the wax in here is gonna harden and solidify so I want to make sure I try to fill up the one side as much as I can oopsie spilling a little bit Try to be as careful as you can. I'm not on a level surface either, so it's uh, kind of moving all over the place on me. And if you do it neat enough, I didn't. You should be able to go ahead and put your lid right in there. Now, like I said, I really didn't do it neat enough, but I can still get the lid in there. And if you put the lid on when the wax is still warm, it'll end up making a nice tight seal. Another thing you can do, 
is put a piece of cotton in the middle before you pour the wax just to give yourself a little wick. I usually just scrape off a little bit in here, expose some of the cardboard, and just light it from there. And we'll let that cool off just a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely share this video with your friends, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And you know what? Go click that button over there so that you know when I put new videos up. I forget what the button is, but I'll find it. Go find it right now. There's a button, you click it, a notification button, it'll let you know when I put a new video up so you can see all my videos. Alright, thank you guys again.